All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about why the Glock 19X is a surprisingly perfect EDC slash self-defense handgun. And uh, in a video I did not so long ago, I talked about essentially, you know, finding the right handgun size or like what is the handgun size that is right for you. And I think a lot of people kind of underestimate what they can realistically carry. And a lot of people go for either single stack handguns, compact handguns, subcompact handguns, when in all reality, people really don't give enough chance to full-sized frame and or full-sized handguns. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, if you're wearing, you know, basketball shorts or something, you know, that you can, uh, you know, get away with rocking a full-sized, full-weight handgun. And, of course, some are easier to carry than others. You know, carrying a full-on SIG P226 is probably going to be a lot harder than a full-size Glock uh, 17 or Glock 19X. So, those kinds of things, within reason, have to be bared in mind. But something like the Glock 19X makes a very, very damning <clears throat> makes a very damning case for the pros of carrying a full-sized or at least full-size frame handgun and here is why I think that is. So the first off and biggest reason for me, I think, is capacity. A lot of people are trying to milk every round they can out of guns like the 43X or Glock 43X, and they're sitting there very excited about having a 15 plus one handgun that is, you know, a single stack or slim lined handgun. And while that is reasonably exciting, you know, there are trade-offs with reliability, durability, and long-term performance whereas with if if you do get a full-sized or full-size framed handgun like a 19x there is no question or no doubt in my mind that you can carry easily a 19 round magazine plus one in the chamber giving you a total of 20 rounds as opposed to 16. That is in and of itself, I think is a big win. But on top of that too, once again, with this push to lighter, smaller, slimmer handguns, our hands are within reason limited. And if you go from holding, you know, a full-sized handgun down to a single stack slim handgun, or even, you know, a compact, subcompact handgun, you will greatly find yourself with your grip and your ability to hold on to the handgun greatly diminished. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the handgun is uncontrollable or that it's automatically not a safe handgun to use, but really what it means when you can't control uh, recoil as well as with something like a full-sized handgun, you will have not only a harder time getting shots off, but getting follow-up shots off because each recoil impulse when you fire the handgun is going to have greater effect on your body and your ability to fire another round so it doesn't necessarily mean you couldn't fire off shots but accurate reliable rounds will be more difficult so those are two big pros in my opinion to the 19x already and even the glock 45 for those uh, that wanted the blackout version or just the normal glock version i still like the 19x a little more but but overall those are some really big reasons as to why i think that this is a very awesome handgun design now other reasons too once again lower recoil recoil impulse is also going to be better for new shooters who are going to be more timid or maybe more recoil shy it is also going to be you know just a general better shooting experience for anyone now one unique advantage or property of the hybridized or 19x version of this handgun or even the glock 45 is the fact that because it does have a shorter slide the slide length of a glock 19 with the frame length of a 17 you do have lower reciprocating mass which simply means that you have less weight traveling back as such and therefore hypothetically or in practice you will have lower recoil impulses because there's not as much steel and metal you know, going back and forward so it does not necessarily have the greatest impact on shooting and once again a skilled shooter won't really mind the lower or greater reciprocating mass of a full-sized handgun but it definitely does help in addition to even going over to full-sized handguns and the glock 19 as opposed to something like say an fn 509c you are going to have greater um, barrel length and of course that trickles into 
greater barrel length and of course that trickles into greater velocity which simply put just means that if you do have a greater velocity of your handgun calibered bullet it is going to have greater effect on target especially when it comes to pistol calibered rounds the whole objective for these pistol calibered rounds is to have as much energy so that they can perform as far as things like hollow points being able to mushroom to appropriate or desirable uh, diameters so that they can dump energy effectively into their targets um, so having greater barrel length is a big advantage in that regard so yeah that is definitely another big win for the 19x and other full-sized handguns like the 17. Now, these are some of the biggest reasons why I think this is a surprisingly amazing EDC handgun. The last point, too, the point that I made in the previous video, is that I think that guns like the 19X are surprisingly easy to carry. Now, once again, I do have to put that disclaimer out that, you know, of course, when you stack a Glock 19X like this, you know, side by side with a gun like this FN 509, of course, you will be able to see a very large difference in or maybe not very large difference, but you will be able to see a noticeable difference in frame length. This is true. But what I have to say about that is that oftentimes, like with the FN 509C versus this gun, um, is the fact that realistically, it's only about two, two and a half inches longer in frame length. And honestly, when you put that into practice on body, unless you're carrying in a very discreet location where size is key, most times, like if you're appendix carrying, most times if you're doing things like appendix carry, it really does not matter. That extra two inches, two and a half inches, if you have any type of length within your torso is going to be easily able to conceal. And I have once again had friends where we were doing EDC checks and, you know, of course in an appropriate way, pulled the handgun out because we were showing handguns and they were totally surprised that they were able or that I was able to conceal carry this Glock 19X with a two round. Uh, ag extension and they honestly didn't even think I had a firearm on me so that is something that I will say that you know once again you know your mileage may vary but honestly I think it is a lot easier to carry something like a full-sized full-framed handgun than you might actually think and the advantages are very clear especially when it comes to auto loading handguns because of the increased capacity and really reliability of course once again you can get 15 round mag magazines for Glock 43 X's but at the same time too they are also they don't have the greatest track record the reliability of those magazines is not to the standard of a normal factory Glock magazine so if you are using factory Glock mags with you know either plus two extensions or even these 17 rounders you're getting that inherent reliability and extra capacity that comes with it so ultimately, I think the Glock 19X makes a really damning case for being an excellent EDC handgun because of the fact that it is far more carryable than most people might think initially. As always, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. God bless, and I'm out.